Hello future webmasters. Thank you for checking out another episode from How to Webmaster. Today I'm going to show you how to buy a domain name and buy web hosting and then connect your domain name to your web hosting service. So the reason why you need a domain name and web hosting is maybe because you want to build a WordPress website or open your own online shop or whichever websites you want to build the first thing you want to do is to buy a domain name and you can simply search on Google and there are hundreds of places to buy domain names at and here at my website mydomaindeals.com I post some of the top domain registration deals you can buy domain names for as little as a dollar. So check that out. I'll leave the link in the description below this video. So in this example today, I'm going to register domain with Namecheap. So here I am at Namecheap. To register a domain, all you have to do is search for a domain name that's still available. For this example, I'm going to put some gibberish domain name dot uh, com here let's do a search and it shows up as available click on add to cart and they also offer these other things which you don't really need let's click on view cart and you may be asked to register an account before you can check out just go ahead and register the account, it's free. And if you're a first time customer, you can enter in this coupon code to get this domain for 88 cents. And then click on confirm order. And then simply choose a payment method to check out. And then click continue when you're ready. After paying it is successful. It will take roughly a minute for your domain to show up in your account. Under your domain list here, your domain will be listed right here. We're done for now with the domain registration. That's all there is to it. Now we will move on to buying web hosting so that you can connect the domain to your web hosting and then start building your website. And once again, there are certainly thousands of options to buy web hosting. Uh, my website here, mywebhostingcoupons.com shows you some good deals from the top web hosting companies. You can buy web hosting for as little as a few dollars a month. And I will leave the link to my web hosting coupons deals below this video. In this example, I'm going to choose HostGator as my web hosting service of choice. So I'm at HostGator right here, click on the web hosting link and you end up here at shared web hosting which is their cheapest hosting plans and what I like about HostGator is that they have live chat support 24 7 support you can contact them at any time this is also the web hosting company I've been with the longest close to about eight years hosting with them it's a good company to start out with they have pretty affordable rates as you can see here, the, the single domain plan, also called the hatchling plan, is about $275 per month. But these terms are if you pay yearly or more. What I recommend is the unlimited domains. That way you can have multiple websites or unlimited websites under your plan. And the price is roughly a dollar more per month. And buying web hosting is pretty straightforward. You click the buy button and then you make sure you enter your domain name and HostGator is having this promotion where they give away one free year of domain registration so if you didn't register a domain already at Namecheap you can register here one which comes with your web hosting plan or if you already register one with Namecheap then you click on I already own this domain and then enter in your domain that you purchase here 
So this will end up as your primary domain and then you can also add in more domain names which means more websites to your hosting plan later on if you want to and here you can choose your package type so right now I have the baby plan and now you can choose the kind of payment plan you want so this is up to you to decide what's right for you and your budget and then select the username and a security pin to for your account security and then simply enter your billing info right here and these are optional additional services you don't need so let's uncheck these and make sure to check out my web hosting coupons dot com website to get the latest coupon code to save you even more money with your web hosting plan okay once you're done with that review your order and check out okay now to connect your web hosting to your domain name so that when, once you enter in your domain name in your web browser your website can show up you will need one thing it is called the name server address and after completing your payment they may send you an email uh, within about maybe 15 minutes to get your hosting account set up and after 15 minutes if you, don't, you didn't receive any email from them go ahead and click on the live chat right here ask them about your web hosting account and then ask them what is the name server address this is what you will put in your Namecheap account. So to get to the, your name server settings inside of your domain list in your Namecheap account, click on the manage button that is next to your domain name and you will arrive here. And you don't need to mess around with any of these settings here. Just go to where it says name servers and then choose custom DNS and then enter in the name server that is given to you by HostGator. It'll look something like ns1.hostgator.com. So this is just an example. And then there will be another name server, ns2.hostgator.com or something similar to this. And there are usually two name servers that you have to add into your name server's address. And again, you get these, this information by HostGator. They will either email to you and it is listed in your account. And if you can't find it, just do a live chat with them and they will give it to you. And you enter it here and click on this save button right here. It's the same process anywhere you go. It will take approximately 24 to 48 hours for this to take effect. And then you can start visiting your website domain name okay your connection with your hosting service is completed that's all there is to it now the next part is to set up your website so please look for my next video on how to set up a wordpress site okay that's all there is to it now you're ready to set up your website thank you for viewing let me know if you have any questions or comments please give this video a thumbs up and Subscribe to How to Webmaster for more tips and tricks on WordPress and other internet marketing tutorials. Thanks again and happy marketing.